about two months ago, if you can believe it, I showed you how to make carbonara. Now, that's a pretty hefty dish. It has egg and cheese and everything in it. So, it's summertime. It's 80 degrees plus, so we need to lighten that up a little bit. And I have a dish to do just that. It's called cacio e pepe, or cheese and pepper, I think. <laughs> so, right now, I have some pancetta rendering in this pan right here. And that's exactly how I start my carbonara recipe. The difference here is that I'm going to not have the egg in there. Instead, we're going to substitute it with lemon to make it lighter. So this is still rendering just a tick. So pancetta, again, if you didn't see the um, carbonara recipe, it's essentially fancy bacon. So if you can't find this, bacon is totally okay. So that's going to cook a little bit more. And in the meantime, I've got some lemons over here I've already cut. That is part of the ingredients. You're also going to need garlic, red pepper flake. I unfortunately dropped mine this morning and it shattered everywhere, so I don't have that. And then the other really important ingredient is fresh cracked black pepper. So you'll need two teaspoons of that plus more. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but it's two lemons and that's about a quarter cup. You're also going to need about a cup and a half of Parmesan cheese and three cups of arugula. So I still have my pancetta rendering here. It's almost there, almost there. So I think I can go ahead and continue to do the recipe. So we have a quarter cup of olive oil we're going to add to this. Okay. And this is one we would add that red pepper flake to, but I don't have it. So we're going to put a nice amount of pepper in here to season this all up. Okay. Then we're also going to put our garlic in here. So probably, if you haven't seen this before, haven't seen me use it, minced garlic in the jar like this, you can get it at just about any grocery store, is a lifesaver. No chopping of garlic here. So about four cloves. I like a lot of garlic, so I'm going to put a lot of garlic in. All right, and that's going to get nice and fragrant right now. While this continues to go, I have a finished product over at Joe. How is it tasting? This is amazing. Yeah, so it's, it's you know, a little bit lighter than our carbonara. Mm-hmm. It was really good. I didn't understand why you were putting arugula in here. Uh-huh. But now I get it. You get it. This is really good. I mean, I loved your carbonara. I've, I've added that to my own kitchen of you have. very few abilities. So <laughs> I, I don't have a lot on my, I don't have a lot of cooking skills. Um, I struggle in the kitchen, but your carbonara worked and I'm going to be adding this too, because this is fantastic. And it's very simple. So I'm just adding that lemon juice in here now. I'm running out of time, so I'm trying to speed through this. Okay. This is a big lemon. Okay, okay. So again, all this is still cooking while I'm adding other ingredients, so. And if you don't like lemon, I do not suggest making this recipe because it is very lemony. Okay. That's good. So that's still going on. Yeah, but you need it. You need it, yeah. It cuts that's through really the good. pancetta to make that's it a really little bit good. lighter. So it almost smells like scampi right now. So if you like that flavor, think of that just in pasta form. So I'm going to go ahead and throw my pasta in here now. It's a lot of pasta. I use the whole box, by the way. So I'm going to toss it in all of this. It's going to make a mess because that's what I do here. I make messes, which is also why I had to clean up shattered glass this morning because I had that red pepper go everywhere. Yeah, that, that was a sight. <laughs> All right, now we're going to add our cheese in here, and I'm going to do this as we wrap up. Um, you're going to alternate between cheese and leftover pasta water to kind of make that sauce. So if you would like to try this recipe, I will have it on our website later today. And I have my own tab. Hit the lifestyle tab and you'll see Cooking with Sierra. And you can try out all of these fantastic recipes, or so I call them fantastic. <laughs>